right, good morning. We are hobbling our way out of here. Patagonia. Got a ways to go. So here's what happened. We hiked into this town late last night. We were able to get something to eat. And then when we were done eating, we realized it was pretty cold out and we didn't know where we were gonna stay. We had hiked in in the dark, so we didn't even have like a lay of the land or anything. So I saved us and got a room at the stage inn. They were booked up, but then she had one cancellation. I said we'd take it because I wasn't sure what else we were about to do. It was about 10 o'clock and it was cold out and we weren't sure if there was any place to set up our tent. So we took it, we did it. And now we're running into the market. We don't need to resupply, but we just have a couple things we wanna see if they have. Then we're running to the post office. The post office in Patagonia, that was crazy. Okay, so it said the post office was open on Saturday, but apparently they're not. But this woman, Jackie, was in there and she just saved us. She took my phone. <laughs> so I've been carrying two phones since the beginning of the trail. And the phone plus, um, the phone plus the extra accessories was like a good pound that I was carrying. So I am so happy to be rid of that. I had to transfer my information. I was afraid it didn't work. I was afraid to get rid of the phone before we started the trail. So that is now gone, one, one pound lighter. Um, and then we had a couple of random items that we just decided we could send back. And so Jackie just saved us and allowed us to leave a box with her that she will put in the mail on Monday. Wow, that was a blessing. Okay, so the rest of the kids from the market and we're gonna make our way. Finished the business that we needed to do at the post office and at the market. And the boys talked to a couple other hikers who said that the breakfast burritos at the coffee shop were amazing. So, <laughs> We really are going to get back on trail, but first we're getting breakfast burritos. Cute. We've peeled ourselves away from town, could have been worse, and uh, started this road walk back to the trail. We think we're going to climb that thing today. Not sure. I'll have fun too. Thank you, thank you so much. You still feeling like you need some WD-40 yeah. on your joints? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, whew, it's tough. Every time we stop or sit down. Whew. So this is the trailhead, and we're getting back on the trail. Oh, I was going to say too, that woman Jackie at the post office in Patagonia is so nice. She saved us uh, from carrying some stuff that we didn't want to carry. She's from Londonderry, New Hampshire, till the age of eight. Um, she lived in Londonderry and then moved out here their parents so that was a funny connection so thankful to her there's the where the trail comes down into this lot um, just reapplying some sunblock getting situated to walk up this road in the sun this is the trail and we're continuing on Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well, two is even fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. This is awesome. Is this our first Arizona Trail Trail Magic? Yeah. Oh. Yay! Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. 
All right, we are whew, following the trail up this road. It's a little climb, huh? Yep. All right. Well, actually, it's a little more than a little climb. That is? Yeah. <laughs> We've been climbing for the last, like, two and a half miles. Oh. And we still got, like, four to go. Great. <laughs> You're saying we missed the water source? Yeah, it's point one back. Point one back. We missed the water source, but we got water here. And next water source is five and a half, and we're climbing, so we're getting water. I'd go up. Okay. Why is it so hard to get moving again? Because we're sore. Does it hurt like this the whole time, or do we get used to this? We get used to it. I think we get used to it. Man. This is hot and steep. We've been coming up this road, which apparently is the trail. All right, so here we are. We're like... We're at the top pretty much. Yeah. Well, of the first... Of the first push. First push. But if you see that down there, that's the trail where we came from. And then even further, there's the town. So like, yeah, this is steep. Just did a ridiculously steep push. Still climbing, but I think Brody said that was the steepest part. But we still have some climbing to do. Hey, how are you doing? I think we're good. Does anyone need water? I think we're good. We're good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Look at uh, Utah. Oh, who tells us how far to Utah? That's cool. Nice. Practically there. Huh. <laughs> okay, so now what? We got one mile straight up. All right. Okay. No time like the present. Nice new sign. We're getting there. Woo! Holy moly. All right. We did it. Okay. Don't take your pack off. Don't take your pack off, but catch your breath, take a drink, and we have a spot to stop a couple miles ahead. Yep. All right. Hey, Unbreakable just noticed this little guy. Let's see if I can find him. Baby. What is it? Little baby lizard of some sort. We think it's similar to like one of the thorny ones. Yeah. Look at them. Do you see them? Right oh, there? Oh, yeah. I saw one of the bigger ones. I've never seen one that small. No. That's cool. Like, Is that what it's called? The thorny yeah. devil? No. Yeah. We found a bigger one. Oh, um, am I shading him? There he is. He blends in really well, so. Don't squish him. Oh, there we go. This reminds me of the AT. Here's our awesome water spot. This is nice, huh? I'm gonna sit back in the shade and have some lunch. What do we have for the day? Uh, I'm not Close sure. nine, over nine, close yeah, to 10? 10. All right. 19. Best break spot yet. Yep. This feels so good. Let's oh. sit down and get off our feet. What are people eating? Oatmeal. They caught me at a bad time. M&M's. <laughs> You're always eating M&M's. Yeah, I'm about to uh, have leftover pizza. Leftover pizza? Oh, that's going to be good. Might have to I'm having well. some ramen and some uh, oatmeal. Okay. And I packed out the rest of my quesadilla from last night. Man, this thing is like, this is a good solid pound. I just carried up all those steep sections. 
It's going to be good. And this is day three on the AZT, and you're already looking for food trades? Yeah. <laughs> To look for no takers. Toys. What just happened? Uh, we made a food trade. Pete, some pizza for some liquid uh, IV. Liquid IV. Electrolyte mix. Yeah. Those things are Don't so we good. have enough of that? Somebody's up. Or oh, it's the Somebody kind you want. Better. Why not take one? I see. You're now offering up your liquid IV for what? Someone to go fill filter my water for me. No, not doing it. Ridiculous. It's a good flow down there. Ben says it's worth it. It's an easy fill, but nobody wants to filter it into your bottle? Yeah. Look how slowly it's trickling. Hmm. Unbreakable's being kind and is actually just giving people like a half a piece of bread. And <laughs> people think it's too Hermes good to be doesn't true. believe it. He's like, it's too good to be true. He can't just be, be nice and give bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. No, I'm not. Pass it to mom. Look at this. It's almost like the lemon squeeze, but not nearly as tight. That's fun. Too easy, huh? Yeah. It's cool. There they are. Let's see. There's the trail. There they are. We're coming out here. Tunnel Spring Trailhead. Water source, dirt road. It's seven miles to the next one. Seven miles to the next water source, Which so awesome. we want to make sure we have some. But look at the water's flowing. It's great. They're getting water, and then the trail follows this road for a mile or so. And we're seven miles from camp. Yep. Ish. Sounds good to me. All along this road, there are people camping, campsites. Yeah, this is cool. We got burn up here, but we're thinking that was definitely a controlled burn at some point. Right. Because it looks like they were preserving the trees. Because like none of them have been like burnt down. Yeah. And barely even singed. So. You drive. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> oh All right, let's pick up the kids. We got four and a half to go. <laughs> it is really nice out right now. So trail comes out there, crosses this road. This is an awesome view. And four. What do we have? Four, four and a half to go. Look at this. This, this is, is so awesome. exciting. We haven't seen one of these before. Well, I'm more excited about... I like about, this. Look at the tag on the... Cattle, cattle Bridge. Cattle Guard Bridge. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun? I like that. Oh, <laughs> All right, come on, pick up the pace. <laughs> Look at the mucky water. That was mucky. This is neat. We don't have canyons in New Hampshire. Oh, no canyons in New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> kind of neat. We've got an aqueduct system. 
and the boys wouldn't let me stop long enough to read the sign to know exactly how far it runs and what the details are. Ooh, look at the sky over there, you guys. That's, yeah. that's pretty. Yeah. They are cool. Super scared. Hey, He's buddy. so cute. Look at you. So it got dark quick after we passed by those cows up there on that beautiful hill. Um, got cold as we came down on the trail. And I think that we're going to cross through a gate. And then we're going to find a tent site. Call it a day. It's dark. It's chilly. And we want some good sleep. So I'll try to remember to say goodnight, but we're getting there. All right. There's a gate here. There's a spot here. It's in some prickly grass, but the last spot we saw that was nice and flat that wasn't in prickly grass had a big anthill. So we're gonna set up here. Yeah, watch out, these, those are prickly, the branches hanging down, so let's get set up. All right, so this is good night from day three. We need a rake. We need a rake, who brought the rake? Oh no, it's already poking through. Poking through the ground cloth and the bag. Oh, yay, yay. I need to use my inflatable pad because if I don't, I can't roll over. My hip bones are bruised from my hip belt, and so I can't lay on my side. Oh gosh, yeah, this this prickly hay grass just comes right through these things. Yes, this doesn't bode well for my inflatable pad. And then when you think it's might I didn't use it the first night it over. because I was afraid of it getting punctured. What about this stick? But I didn't sleep well. I mean, I slept all right, but not comfortable. All right, we're gonna get set up. The temperature really dropped after we got down from that road with the cows. Man, it got freezing. So, all right, I think this is really good night this time.